Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 14 QPR1 Beta 2 that I have here on my Pixel 7 Pro to show you each and every new change so without further ado let's jump in. Starting with the build number and size it's U1B2.230922.006 and when it comes to the size jumping from QPR1 Beta 1 to Beta 2 on the 6 Pro is 130 megabytes so let's take a look at the new features. The most notable change after installing this build is the performance boost. Everything loads much faster now on the screen. So when I try any of these articles, you can see how they pop immediately and the loading time is much shorter in my opinion, even when you compare it to the stable version of Android 14. And I also found that the camera to process the photos faster. So you barely see the processing circle at the bottom left corner. It seems like the photo is ready immediately without any processing time. When it comes to the battery, it seems to drain a bit faster than the stable version of Android 14, but I'm not sure 100% because I will give it some time to finish all the background processing and settle everything down before judging. And when it comes to bugs, I didn't face any major bugs and the build seems to be very stable on the Pixel 7 Pro. Now let me show you what are the new changes. The first change we have today is under settings and then system. And you'll see here that the system update menu item is now called software updates and when you go inside you will see a different page with a graphical representation at the top and you have multiple things to update from here the first one is the system update that we used to have before you have also the google play system update and finally app updates which will take you right away to google play store and it will immediately tell you if everything is up to date or not using these check boxes next to each item Change number two is the ability to add the weather info to your clocks. So for example, here I have the local time and Cairo and you can see the weather info for each one. And this is the splash screen you will get when you activate the feature for the first time. It says here the weather app collects location data to provide real time local weather forecasts even when it's closed or not in use. But it seems like this feature is draining the battery a bit faster because now when I go to the battery usage, I can see the clock started to show up with quite significant amount of battery drain here. I have 7%. And also when I go to the settings, now there's a new menu item called local weather on clock. After activating the feature, it doesn't allow me to turn it off. So you need to be careful. Don't enable this feature now. It seems to be buggy a little bit and draining more battery because now I'm not able to deactivate it for some reason. One last thing worth mentioning. When you add the world clock widget to your home screen, now you can see the weather info for each city as well. There is another small change under the wallpaper and the style app. Now when you go to the emoji wallpaper, you will see here that the randomized button is now called inspire me and here's a side by side comparison with the previous version change number four is the ability to use the ultra wide lens as a webcam if you remember in qpr1 beta 1 we got the webcam functionality but now when i try the feature i have one extra zoom level which is 0.6 and that uses the ultra wide lens i confirmed this by covering the lens with my finger and it was actually using the ultra wide and the 1x and 2x are exactly the same as before which is a crop from the main sensor so these are all the features i spotted so far but let me tell you that i managed to deactivate the weather info on the clock to avoid draining my battery and i did that by going to the app info screen i did a force stop and then cleared the cache and now when i open the clock app and go to settings unfortunately i no longer have the feature but at least my battery should be better so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes i wanted to show you in android 14 qpr1 beta 2 please let me know in the comments if you spotted even more features but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video